Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we have this 2019 Ford Explorer and we're gonna do the front grille chrome delete installation for this vehicle. So as you can see, this is how it looks before doing the installation on the front grille. And this is how it looks after doing the installation. So we use the gloss black material, that way it gives the grille a different look and also gives it a sportier design. If you like the product, link for the product will be in the description below. But with that being said, let's get started with the installation video. So before starting with the installation, we need to make sure we prep the panel. So to prep it, you could wash the vehicle beforehand just to remove the contaminants that the panel may have. Or another option would be adding water and baby shampoo onto a spray bottle and mixing it up and then spraying it onto the microfiber towel, not onto the panel, to the microfiber towel and just removing all the contaminants that's on the panel. And then once you finish cleaning the whole panel, make sure everything is dry because if water gets on the adhesive side of the film, then the film won't tack down to the panel and it's just going to lift even after applying heat. So make sure everything is completely dry. For this installation, there's no really requirement of where to start, but for this one, we're gonna start from the bottom, work away on top, doesn't really matter. But for this one, for the bottom piece, make sure you align it to this edge first and make sure you have enough material to cover the chrome underneath. So just follow the design until you reach it to the other end. Once you have it like this, the next step will be tacking down the film. So to tack it down, grab your squeegee and just tack down the film to the panel. Just make sure you remove all of the air bubbles that may be behind the film. And if you do have a little bit of extra material on the lower half, you could trim it off. So first tuck in, and if you still have a little bit more, then you trim off. Okay, and now we move on to installing the top piece. We will trim off the extra material after for this section, just to see what needs to be trimmed off. So make sure everything's flat here, and then we can start installing the top piece. So for this one, you just need to make sure you match the cutouts to the grill design here. So for this one, recommend doing it one by one. That way you're able to match it. So match one, follow the design, and it should fall into place on the other ones. And if you need to lift and adjust the film, you can. Just be careful when you're lifting the film. So just follow the design, lift it carefully, and it should fall into place. And if you do happen to have a little bit of excess material on the edges, those you could trim off. And then here, since we didn't tack it down completely, lift it and align it. And you will do the same here. Lift it and make sure you're aligning the film. Okay, so grab your squeegee and start tacking down the film. And some of the film can be tucked in underneath the grill. So if you have space, just tuck in. But if you don't, then you might need to trim off the extra material. And you just rinse and repeat for each one. Tuck in the film and you just trim off whatever is excess. And now that we have an idea of what is excess material and what is going to be needed to be trimmed off, grab your blade and you will find the gap. So let's say for example on this edge, there is a gap on the grill section on each section here. Find the gap and the tip of your blade, poke the hole and then you could just trim off the excess material. Just be careful not to accidentally scratch the grill. So just take your time when trimming off this piece, lift it and then just do the same for the other side. So you just rinse and repeat for each section, trim off whatever's excess. And once you're done, we move on to the next piece, which would be for this section. It will be the same thing. Align it from one end, work your way and install. Okay, now we'll move on to the next piece. Okay, so for this piece, it's going to be the same thing almost as like this one. Work on the bottom section first and then apply the top one. And then the same steps you would do for this section, rinse and repeat for the other side wherever it needs to be worked on. So with this one, align it on the bottom half. That way it covers the bottom half of the crown. Make sure you give yourself enough material to cover this section. So like this, and just make your way to the other side. And the rest of the material, you're going to have to tuck in and make cutouts. So once you have it tacked down here, squeegee the middle section. As you can see, once you squeegee, take your time 
to install this piece. So it's just covering there. And right here, we're going to need to make the cut in order for the film to fit here. So trim off the excess material here, find the gap, make the cut. That way we're able to tack down this section here. So it should go tucked in underneath here. Once you tuck it inside, squeegee the film. And then that's when you would trim off the extra material. So you're gonna to have to be careful when trimming it off on this area. And then just do the same on this side. Make sure you have coverage here. So squeegee, trim off the extra material. Now that you have less pressure, start tacking down this section to cover the film and then trim off the extra material. So find that gap and then trim off here. Once you tack it down, so tack it down to secure it. Grab your blade and trim off the material. And then just tuck in the film. And then just finish off with this section. And that should be it. So it just takes some time making sure do a small release cut to help the film tuck in underneath here and here. And it should align here perfectly. Trim it off and then now we move on to installing this piece. Okay, so for this next piece, align it right in the middle. So align it right in the center here. And everything else should just fall into place. Make sure it's covering all of the chrome. And it should be just like that. And now we need our squeegee. Tack everything down. And any excess material will just get trimmed off. And it's basically the same how the same steps how we did it with this one. And then trim off the extra material, find the small gap here. Okay, so now we're moving on to the last piece. So for this one, start by aligning it from one end and just work your way on installing it on the rest of the panel. So you can give yourself a little bit of room to work with and just apply the film. But just be careful not to accidentally crease it. Once you place the film, lift the film and start tacking it down. The reason why we're lifting is because there is still some air behind the film. So we want to remove all that air. If not, it will create air bubbles and you might accidentally crease it when you're squeegeeing the film. So it's better to avoid creasing it. And then just continue on installing the rest of it. Should go underneath. Okay, and now just trim off all the excess material. And then once you finish trimming off everything that's needed to be trimmed off, we'll pulse heat the film. Once you're done, like I said, now we move on to post heating the whole panel once you finish with the whole installation. So once you finish with the whole installation, the last thing to do is to post heat the entire film. And the reason why we're post heating is to help the adhesive on the film act very faster and it will stick better to the panel. And also we're helping tack down any edges that are still lifting. So once you finish post heating, you're done with the installation. Okay, so that concludes the installation video for the Chrome Delete installation for the front grille for the 2019 Ford Explorer. We hope that this video helped you guys out with the installation. If it did, don't forget to drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell. That way you don't miss any upcoming installation videos. Don't forget to check out our other videos for the Chrome Deletes for on our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.